Hi there, it's Louise here to talk to you about fear and excitement. Are those the two poles of what it takes to be a leader or what? My favorite quote from my favorite leadership coach is Doug Silsby. Uh, he often would say that the difference between fear and excitement is breathing. I just resonate with that on so many levels because I know that when I'm really worried and I'm really tense and, and just like, uh, are we ready to start the school year? Um, is this parent meeting agenda good enough? Like worrying, worrying, worrying. There's always that knot in my stomach because I'm just, I'm not breathing. I'm not really breathing fully into my diaphragm as my music teacher would always remind me. Full deep breaths can release a lot of that fear and tension so that we can really enjoy the excitement of the moment. Like, oh my gosh, yay, I get to meet with all my parents and I have this new um, opportunity coming up for the school campus and, and release the excitement and joy instead of living in the fear and the anxiety and the worry. Today, being a leader, continually the same, right? Every day to me anyway, I feel like it's a, another day, another day of joy, excitement. And then we, then I turn on the news and I hear something like, oh my gosh, a new variant of the, uh, you know, of the virus, of the uh, COVID-19 virus. And I'm like, oh my goodness, uh, here I go back into the spiral, fear, excitement, fear, excitement. Like, am I really excited about what I'm doing? What am I really worried about? What's getting in the way? I think of it like, um, whenever I start something new as a school leader, like I had a new idea one year and I wanted to really energize my senior class and really release all the potential and, and, and power and joy that they have within them as my seniors leaving the campus. And I would get so excited. And then there was a moment where I felt like, oh my goodness, I've just released the snowball and it's rolling downhill. <laughs> And you know what happens, it rolls downhill, it picks up more snow as it goes, and pretty soon you have this out of control snowball that just goes everywhere and bounces along and, and can wreak havoc, and it needs to be guided. I think oftentimes working with the team is the same way. We put things in motion, and then we sit back and hold our breath instead of being excited and, and trying to give guidance. And so I think there are opportunities that as working as a team, we could figure out in advance, like, where are some pivotal places? What are some pivotal activities we could do where we could guide this snowball as it bounces along so that it will hit a safety corner and bounce back in a better direction so that it won't go out of control so easily. I think that with some guidance, some loving attention, some intention, we can really release the joy and excitement of being a leader and spend less time in the fear and worry of being a leader but it takes that teamwork. It takes really having an atmosphere of trust, having the relationship with each other to say, let's hold hands, let's release this snowball together and let's all take up our posts in this big project so that we can make sure that we together provide the guidance and support and direction of this new initiative. If that sounds like your work and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and you're looking for a thought partner, I would love to spend an hour chatting with you seeing what your snowballs are that are in motion right now, or what ideas you have for that next little snowball you wanna put at the top of the mountain to watch it roll down the hill and see what comes of it. So reach out to me, make an appointment, and let's talk. Take care.